Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to put together this smart carousel up here. We're using the Divi Wow Carousel plugin to do this today. It's absolutely awesome. And what this is, this is a carousel of modules. So any module that you build with the Divi theme you can save to the library and add to this carousel. We've got a blurb module, we've got a post module which will drag from your posts, we've got some bar counters, there's a call to action, we've got a live contact form and all these are active so you can click on the buttons and go where they take you and fill out this form and send it and of course we've got a little countdown timer there as well. And this is really easy to do with the Wow Carousel plugin so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable my visual builder. And I'm simply going to delete this section. And we'll start from scratch. Now to make this work you want to create some modules and save them to your library. So let's put a simple blurb in there. I won't edit it very much. Let's just take some of this content away. And we'll give it a background color. There we go. I'm just sort of going through the motions here. I'm not going to do anything else to this thing. So we've got a module here. Now what we want to do is save it to our library. Another thing you want to bear in mind is I've made mine all a similar height. So if you do two or three different blurb modules, you want to give them a fixed height if you want them to be all the same. And to do that, if we go back into the module itself, just go to design. We'll go down to sizing. And I'm, I've given mine a minimum height. Minimum height, let's say uh, 350, whatever works for you. Now once you're happy with whatever module you've created, just simply go up to the little circular icon just to the left of the trash can there. Left click on it, save it to your library. And that's it, continue building modules that you want to include in your slider or use modules that already exist on your site. I've built six little modules here. I've given them all the same height. As I said, we've, we've got a little sort of blurb and bar counters and countdowns and, and even a little contact form. And they're all saved to my library. Now, if you need to go find them in your library go to your dashboard go down to Divi and you'll find Divi library that's where they're stored once you've saved them okay let's get start building our carousel so now we've got them saved and everything we can actually delete well let's delete this whole row we don't need anything in there and we'll put in another row Divi by standard comes with all these light grey modules, plenty enough to get just about any sort of website built. When you add the WOW Carousel module, you get these modules down here. And they have just added a new one, the Product Carousel, which I'll be reviewing very soon. And for us today, we're going to be using the Smart Carousel, or Smart Slider, there it is. So let's just add that one. Now it's probably us to add a new item. Let's hit the add new item and when it comes up with the new item it says Divi library up there so there we can pull anything from our Divi library that we've got saved here now I've saved mine as A1 through sort of A6 so if we go back here you can go into your Divi library you can give it an admin label if you want to identify which one's which which is quite useful actually and hit the Divi library just underneath and it shows you everything that's in your library. Put the first one in. When you're putting them in in the builder view sometimes some things won't show up but they all show up on the front end so don't worry if that icon's not showing up that's not a problem at all. And we'll continue on through add another one. And I'll keep adding these. I'll pause this video until I've got them all in there. 
Okay, well I've added all the modules I need to add now. So let's go down to our carousel settings and let's set it. I want to slow it down a bit for sure. That's pretty much the only thing I want to do here. Say, so take this to a second and a half, two seconds, something like that. It's a little slow. That'll do fine, I'm sure. Navigation wise, navigation, here's the left and right arrows if I move this out of the way. I don't particularly want those there, but I think I'll have the pagination, the little dots that go underneath. So I'm simply going to go down to navigation and pagination. And I'm going to select to have just pagination. There we go, that's great. Now, I'm going to change the color of the active dot there. So let's go to design. I want to make it something light because I'm going to have a dark background. So if we go to pagination, common, I want the active. Common's these sort of grayed out ones here. They're fine as they are. And I'm going to make this orange. Great. Now, number of slides, I'm going to make this full width. And I'm going to have it display, say, five. So let's close that one out. Go back to our content. Back down to our carousel settings. Number of slides to show. I'm going to ramp that up to about five. It'll squish them all up in there, but that's fine. When I make the row bigger, it'll sort that out. Because remember, I've made these all a minimum height. So we're good to go there. Let's now go into our row and make it full width. To do that, hit the little row cog, green tab up there. Go to design, sizing. And we're going to pull the width up to 100%. And copy it and paste it in the max width below or you can actually just type it in if you prefer to do that okay that's good now let's get our section sorted out so I'll save my changes there we'll go into the section which is the blue tab I'm going to give it a little little space either side so let's go in there first thing I guess I'll put in my background I'm just going to use a simple background image you've got color gradient image or video I'm going to select an image and ah, let's use that one great well that's in there now but I just want to give it a little bit of space either side so let's go to our design to our spacing padding I'm going to give it 20 left and 20 on the right just put 20 in it'll put the pixels in for you hit the chain it'll do the opposite side and we are good to go. Let's save our changes and look at our carousel. Save the page changes. Save draft or publish. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we have it. There is our carousel with all kind of different modules in there. If you hover over it, it'll stop. The buttons are all active, they can fill out this form, send it off if they need to. This will pull from your posts. Got a little countdown timer, obviously I haven't given it a title or anything. A little blurb module. So there you have it. There is how to create a smart slider using the fantastic Divi Wow Carousel module. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.